Hi, I'm Kat, and I'm going to teach you how to play Unearthed. Unearthed is a game about digging up fossils from these dig sites and assembling them into dinosaurs. You earn fame for the dinosaurs that you assemble, and at the end of the game, the player with the highest amount of fame is the winner. We have three decks. These are the dig sites. Over here there are some quick reference cards that you can use. This is the completed dinosaur board where you'll be scoring. And then these are the character boards where you'll keep track of all of your points and your money. These pieces go with the character board and help you keep track of your score and manage your dig teams. To start setting up the game, each player needs to choose a color and take the board for that color. Players start the game with zero cash, zero fame, and a starting income of 2,000 cash per turn. These other discs, you can just move to the side for now, those will be used later. You need to shuffle all three of the dig site decks and put them in the middle of the playing surface. In your game, you only use two of the dig site decks. You can decide which two. The completed dinosaurs board should also go in the center of the playing surface, and it's important for everybody to be able to reach these items easily. Each player takes their first dig team and places it next to one of the dig sites. And there's not a limit to the number of dig teams that can occupy a dig site. When it's all set up, I recommend flipping over the rules booklet and using the back as a reference sheet so that you remember how to create each of the dinosaurs. The player with the best dinosaur roar goes first, but if you're shy, you can also just roll the die. So how do you play? You can always refer to this turn basics card to help you remember how turns work. The first step is to earn money. Everybody earns a base salary of 2,000 cash per turn, which you can keep track of on your character board. Everybody's first turn, they get 2,000 cash to work with. The next step is to buy things. You can buy up to three items, and they can be multiples of the same item. In the rules, you have some choices when you're buying things on your turn. You can buy additional dig teams, you can upgrade the equipment of your dig teams, or you can buy fossils. You can have a maximum of four dig teams, and they start with basic tools. If you purchase upgraded chisels for your dig teams, you can flip your tile over to indicate that it's been upgraded. Upgrading a chisel reduces the break value of all the fossils by two. I'll explain what that means in just a little bit. Buy an additional dig team, you can use it right away. You can put dig teams on any dig site. There is no limit to the number of dig teams that can occupy a dig site. You can buy fossils from the market in order to finish dinosaurs that you be may, may be missing some pieces of. The prices are indicated on the rule sheet. It's important to note that you cannot buy a fossil to save for another turn. You have to buy the fossil and immediately use it to assemble a dinosaur. Also, you can only buy a maximum of three items per turn, so it's not possible to buy Th more than three fossils. Manage dig teams. During this step, each dig team basically gets its own turn. I recommend having your dig teams take their turns in order so that you don't get confused. Each dig team has the option of either digging for fossils or assembling a dinosaur, but not both. To dig for a fossil, you flip over the top card of whatever dig site your dig team is attached to. I'm playing for the blue team, so I'm going to take a card from this deck because my dig team is attached to it. You're going to flip over the top card and it happens to be a fossil. Fossils are delicate and hard to excavate so you don't just automatically get to keep it. You have to roll to make sure that you are able to successfully excavate the fossil. This is the break value. Most fossils have one. In order to successfully dig up the fossil, you have to beat the break value on your die roll. I rolled a 4, there's just some kind of weird scuff on there, um, which is higher than a 3, which means that I get to keep this card. When your team successfully digs up a fossil, you take the card and put it in that team's cleaning zone. It's not possible to use a fossil the same turn that you dig it up, it has to be cleaned. So when you dig, you'll end up with one of these cards. These are not fossils since they don't have a break value. These cards are automatically added to your hand. Using fossils in your hand to assemble a dinosaur. You can only dig or assemble. It's not possible to do both with one dig team. Let's say this is my hand. 
we can see that I can use these fossils to assemble a Diplodocus. So that's what I want to do with my second dig team. In order to assemble a dinosaur, you reveal the cards in your hand, take one of your plastic tokens over here, and put it on that dinosaur's spot on the board. Here's the Diplodocus. The first player to discover a dinosaur gets two extra points. So I'm going to put my token here to indicate that I was the first one to discover that dinosaur. That means that I get 9 fame plus 2, which is a total of 11. I'm going to move my fame score up to 11. Once all of your dig teams have taken their turns, you move on to the last step of your turn where you clean your fossils. I dug up that herbivore skull this turn. Now that it's the end of my turn, I take it and I add it to my hand. Then play moves to the next player. Continue taking turns and digging up and assembling dinosaurs until the dinosaur components board has a certain number of tokens on it. And that number of tokens depends on the number of players. 10 tokens for a two-player game, 15 tokens for a three-player game, and 20 tokens for a four-player game. Everybody gets one final turn after the last token is placed. After everybody's taken their last turn, the game ends and everybody compares their fame scores. The player with the highest fame is the winner. In the case of a tie, the player with the highest fame and the most leftover cash is the winner. I really hope that you enjoy Unearthed.